Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, my loves, welcome in. My name is Erica. I am a psychic medium. Um, and all that means is cards are definitely not needed to channel the messages and read. Um, they're just used to confirm, right? So anyways, my loves, um, welcome in. Those of you guys returning once again, welcome back, my beautiful soul fam. Um, so let's just get right into the message, okay? Um, all information uh, to book with me, uh, all the things is down below in the description box. Um, <clears throat> you know what I'm hearing right now? Like, I just, as soon as I like went to go grab my, my deck, um, is Alicia Keys. This girl is on fire, right? So this is you guys. You guys are fire. You guys are the archer. You guys um, you know, are very passionate, very, you know, for me out of all the fire energy and the fire signs, you guys to me are the most joyful and kind energy, like not saying the other fire energies aren't. And if you are a fire sign, you know, maybe you're like a Leo moon or something, right? Don't take offense. It's nothing to be offended about. I'm an Aries rising and an Aries moon. Um, <clears throat> so I resonate very deeply to the fire energy, but I just feel Saggy's energy like in a different way. So, um, and I feel that you guys are emanating that energy out into the collective. However it is that you're doing it, I don't know, but you're being noticed. You're, 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 you're guiding people. You're at 144, right? As I say, you're guiding people. You are an influencer. You know, you might actually like, maybe that's what you do for a living. Maybe you're an influencer. You have a platform you know, a YouTube channel, a TikTok, or, you know, maybe you're, you know, got a large following on Instagram. I have no idea. Even if you don't have like a super large following, it doesn't matter. I posted something the other day about quantity versus like quality versus quantity. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's, it's true. You know, I would rather have quality people, right? Not saying that you guys get what I mean. Like I would rather have people being drawn to me out of the divine path out you know what I mean like I don't I don't want to like you know you know you'll see readers like posting videos and like it'll be a reading and it'll be like Sagittarius OMG wow but first you need to know what's what is happening or but first you must know this you know it's it's called clickbait clickbait right and that will get you more views and a larger following a lot faster right um, but I am not about that. I, again, quality versus quantity. I would rather have quality messages and, you know, have quality energies drawn. And I feel that's you guys. I feel you guys are very, um, real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you guys are very real and you don't want to put out inauthentic energy and you don't want to do things that feel out of alignment to you. Some people will do that. They will do it even if they feel a little tinge of resistance. It's not right. It's a little off, but they'll do it anyways because it's the ego. It's, it's the, I'd rather have viewers. I'd rather make more money. I'd rather have a large following. And I think the fact that you guys, no, no, I don't think I know the fact that you guys are like this and the fact that you guys are putting that energy into whatever it is that you do, whether it is a platform, you know, influencing people in that way, or whether it's, you know, like your Instagram, let's say it's just your Instagram and you just post stuff that's, you know, inspirational memes, quotes, law of attraction stuff, twin flame stuff. I don't know, whatever, spiritual things, right? Um, you're influencing people no matter what, and it's genuine and it's from the heart and in alignment with, uh, the spiritual laws of the universe, right? Um, and you are being blessed for that. That's the message. Sagittarius, you are being blessed beyond measure is what I'm getting. Now, this is not a fluff reading. It's not to say that you guys will never have hardships or hit road bumps in the road or have the up and down, right? Because that is life. That is life. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we expand, right? You can't have the light without some shadow, right? You can't have the light without some dark, right? You can't. It, it, it's, it's, it's all combined, right? So, but anyways, I feel that you guys have been going through a lot in life, right? Like you guys have just been, you, you've been going through a lot. You guys have been going through a lot. Okay. Um, in the, in the past, in the past. So you guys have been, you know, what I'm getting is like, you know, I'm seeing like the 10 of swords where you guys have had to really pick your, pick your, 
your weary selves up off the ground. You've had to pick yourself up from rock bottom. Um, you've, you've overcome so much. You've triumphed in so many ways. Um, and you just keep going. And that right there is inspiration and influence within itself. So if there's people around you who know you, who have witnessed what you've been through, your hardships, they've also been witnessing your triumphs, okay, your victories. And it's very inspiring. And you, my loves, that is how, that is putting good energy out. That is, that is positive manifesting. That means whatever you, like, you may not even realize, right, the people that you're touching and influencing and inspiring, but you are. And un, 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 unbeknownst to you, you are receiving back that good karma in the form of abundance, money, opportunities, expansion, whatever it is, okay? It's leveling up. It's, le you know, but you're receiving that back. It's very just beautiful energy, you guys. So let's see what the cards have to say. Um, that was just, you know, what I was getting. Okay, let's see here. Um, seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups is showing right here. Uh, okay, what I'm getting here is, okay, for some of you guys, you had an opportunity in the past to invest, to invest in. It was something, it was a door that was opened or something that was open. Anyways, I'm getting something here about you, you get a second chance. There's something circling back around and these cards don't mean any of that. I'm channeling right now, but I'm just getting it kind of off of the energy here. Um, that there's something circling back for you guys where you get a second chance, a do over. And this time, because of your growth, your healing, you know, and your, your, your ascension or wherever it is that you're at, you look at this in a whole new light. You see things in a whole different way and it lines up perfectly and it's boom. It, it's, it's, you, 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 you didn't miss the opportunity. It was just being hidden for a while while you, healed yourself and, and rose up and now it circles back and now you get a second chance. You get this do-over, okay? And it does bring forth a lot of material wealth, abundance, um, but this is also showing that, now for some of you guys, maybe I'm getting avid gardener, okay? So maybe some of you guys are gardening, gardeners, you know, it is that time of year in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring, summer, I have my garden going, you know, all kinds of beautiful flowers and, you know, so I do feel that, you know, we have earth energy here, so you could have some earth in your chart or uh, you could be connected to an earth sign too because I do feel that this person here also, I do feel it's like your energy, but then there's also an energy. Obviously, there's this masculine here where they're doing a lot of like, I'm getting soul searching and thinking, okay? So you could be, I think some, I think this is about investing more into a romance, into a relationship, into love, okay? So like if you're with somebody already, then this would be you guys leveling up in your love. Like your love is leveling up. You guys are starting to see things differently with each other. You're investing more you know, quality time with each other. So it's just something changing here. But the seven of pentacles is a card of divine timing because, you know, you can plant the seeds, but you can't plant the seed and expect fruit the same day, right? You have to be patient. You have to nurture it. You have to tend to the seed, you have to water it, make sure it gets enough sunlight, right? Um, make sure that, you know, other like weeds and stuff don't grow around it and, and take it over or strangle it or, you know what I mean? So it's really like you, you're tending to something here. And the seeds that you've been tending to and the seeds that you are tending to are growing into great wealth is what I get, okay? The seven of pentacles is only three pentacles away from the 10 of pentacles, okay? So you're, you're, it's like you're, you're, you've been growing something, you've been tending to something, and now it's like you're starting to reap the harvest, reap the rewards, it's divine timing. Um, and I do feel that also this is, again, I feel like for some of you guys, this is someone here who they messed up with you, period. They messed up with you and they are dreaming and manifesting basically like I want to be with Sagittarius again or I want another chance with Sagittarius. That could also be the thing that's looping around. It's a second chance. Okay, so let's see what else comes out for you, Sag. Another seven, seven of cups, seven, five, seven. That might be a number of synchronicity that you guys want to look up, okay? I do highly, highly, highly suggest and recommend my favorite website for 
any angel number sequence is uh, Joanne's Sacred Scribes, okay? Joanne's Sacred Scribes. It does a beautiful breakdown of breaking down the numerologies. It gives a whole thing of what it means with, you know, so 757, okay? This is also, you know, it equals, uh, there it is. I was going to say the seven plus seven plus five equals, it breaks down to 19. It, that's a sun card in the major arcana. Okay. So it, it very much is there. There it is with the fiery energy, right? The sun is a huge ball of fire. It is not a planet. It is a star, <laughs> right? Um, but you, it's like you, you're a shining star, Sagittarius. For some of you guys are stardom, you're in the spotlight, but there's light coming in. It's like, here comes the sun. It's blissful energy. It's good times. It's very healing. It's powerful. It's you being in your power. Um, you know, it's also represented by masculine, but there it is. There it is. The two of cups, um, is what I was basically not saying, but I was saying like, there's the sunshine energy, blissful energy, and it's all connected to this. So it's like someone chose wrong. They maybe treated you like an option. Maybe they were stuck in illusions. They just couldn't see things clearly. I don't know. 11, 11 on the timestamp, but this is someone who is a soulmate energy or they view you feel you as a soulmate energy and they feel like they mucked up they feel like they got it wrong they chose wrong um you know me it could have even been as simple as no i just really feel like i'm not ready to be in a relationship or commit you know if i was you would be someone that i'd want to be with but i just want to keep my options open um again they chose wrong there's something about yeah like i i uh, i can't believe i did that Ugh, I can't believe I did that. This person cannot stop thinking about you too. There's someone here where they're really thinking about you a lot. Okay, two of cups, soulmate energy. Uh, it's a balanced partnership and union. Okay, then you have the world card. See, this is it. This is it right here. There's a level of completion happening here with the world card. It means that someone, they're, they're seeing the bigger picture. They could be watching you on the World Wide Web. Maybe you guys live... You know, there could be physical distance between you guys. Maybe you met on the on the internet. I don't know. But it's like they can see you online or they connect to you somehow online or something. And it's like they see you rising up in like all your glory and success. And, you know, you're, you're, you're vibing high. You're feeling good, looking good. Um, and they're just like, it, it, it really is just, man, like, how did I not see this? How did I let this person get away? How did I, you know what I mean? Um, so you know how I said things are going to be circling back. This is literally that circling back for a do over a second chance. Okay. Um, and depending on what happens when that happens is it's going to, it's, it's completion on some level. It's you guys become together and you know, it live happily ever after then it completes the cycle in that way. If it's not, you know, maybe you've moved on, this person comes in, then at least there's closure, but there's something here about that. And I also feel Sagittarius that this is, um, it's life changing, world changing, but, but it's, um, it's someone who was clearing karma and going, they were closing out huge cycles on their end. They had karma. They had stuff, so they've, they've completed some big stuff here with the world card. It's the universe showing up saying, you know, congratulations, you did it, okay? So I think that someone sees something now, okay? It's seeing things in a whole new light. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, look, I, uh, these literally just like popped in my hand. Like I couldn't shuffle anymore. It just like stopped me. But look, at I, as I say, see things from a whole new light. Look what shows up. The hangman. This is a fresh perspective. This is seeing things in a whole new light. It's seeing things completely different. It's the aha. It's the, you know, it's enlightenment. Okay. You could be dealing with a water sign here. I want to say the King of Cups is Scorpio, but I could be wrong. But anyways, it's just water sign, water energy. A lot of water, 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 right? Okay, so there's a lot of emotion here, a lot of thinking and stirring. See, so he's kind of just thinking and stirring the, you know, in the cup, right? Um, but again, the crown chakra is showing up here, activated and enlightened, and there's light around his head. So this masculine energy that I was drawn to from this card um, and now showing up as a king energy um, is someone who is holding on to a lot of emotions for you, okay? 
Um, they do see things in a whole new light. This person is still very hung up on you. Um, for some reason, I'm getting Edgar Allan Poe. I know it's like random, but it's not because I'm channeling. So Edgar Allan Poe is going to resonate for some of you guys. This could be maybe their name is Edgar or Allen or, you know, um, I, but specifically more so what I'm getting is like, it's, it's how Edgar Allan Poe was a, he was a writer. He was a poet. He was, he was very deep. He was very, you know, kind of dark, right? But he was very deep and he loved, loved, loved his wife. And that's what I'm getting here with that energy that is deep. This is deep emotion. This person is enlightened now. They're feeling things on a deeper level. It's not on the surface like it was before, you know, and yeah, I just, I feel that this is someone who it's like, you, you've got a hold of my heart. I can't let you go. It feels like that. They're, they're really stuck here. Okay. This also shows that there's been a delay, you know, it's like a pause, you know what I mean? Um, so something is there's been like a delay, a pause while things work their way out, however they needed to. And now again, someone circles back. Okay. And three of pentacles is showing up. They want to work with you. They want to build with you. They want to pick up. Okay. And they want to build towards the 10 of pentacles. Clarify the two of cups, the king of cups, the world card and the three of pentacles. Okay. Cause the world is a cyclical energy, right? So it's just, it's never ending and cycles never end. Energy never ends. It's like that, right? So it, the world goes to next card is the fool. It's that, you know, fresh star and leap of faith, you know, all of that. And that's what I'm getting here. Is this person taking a leap of faith towards Sagittarius? There's King of Pentacles, four of wands, three of swords, bottom of the deck. And what's this? The emperor. Yeah. Yes, they are. Absolutely, they are. This person is full on. They've been thinking a lot about you, about this, about what they did or how they sabotaged what, you know, they had with you. Okay, they didn't make a move. They just sat there. And he's the key, you know, he's the emperor. He's he's like the, the one that's the, you know, the action, you know, he's the planner. He's the strategizer. He's the winner. He goes to war and he, 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 you know, draws out battle plans and then acts on the battle plans and he wins the battle. He's not a loser. He does not lose. This is someone who, you know, I feel that this person was very afraid to fall in love with you or to have their feelings get even deeper and then lose you. And so they just walked away. They ghosted or they ended things before that could happen. And then, then they regretted it. Okay. King of Pentacles. This could be someone very wealthy uh, you know, or they're just a hard worker. They've, you know, they maybe are very self-made, you know, like something like that. Okay. Is what I get. It's, it's very much financial success though, whatever it is. Okay. Um, and there's someone who could be very stubborn, um, very set in their ways, but they're also, once they commit to something, they are very dedicated to that and loyal to that. Okay. Um, and that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting that this person, it's, it's what I'm also getting is that like, this is someone who even, you know, they're not with you, but they feel like a loyalty to you. They feel loyal. And then the four of wands. Union. This is union for me. So, you know, this could be like, you could be seeing that 11, 11 a lot, you know. Um, it does speak of new beginnings, uh, enlightenment, you know. It could indicate that there could be some twin flame energy going on for some of you guys. Um, but this is definitely a balanced union. This is a strong foundation where you guys are, it's balanced. You guys are a match for each other, okay? Um, there could be something about dancing, moving your body. Um, maybe this person takes you out. You guys go dancing. Maybe you guys have some memories together of dancing together. I don't know. I'm getting dancing under the stars, which is pretty romantic. Um, and it's funny too, because even in this card, you can kind of see up here, there's like some star energy going on. Um, but this is, yeah, it, it's someone making a move towards you, wanting to commit. They view you as a very solid, stable person and they're coming forward and that's their intention here is to bring, make a move and to bring forth a solid and stable um, commitment and offer to you. 
I'm hearing that song, I think I wanna marry you. What is it, Bruno Mars or whatever? Um, so I do think that, I think, I, or I feel that. I feel that this person is viewing you as someone they can marry. This is a card of, you know, celebration, engagement, could be marriage too. Yeah, it's like this person is like thinking a lot about the future. Like they're going, oh, you know, they're they're daydreaming. They're they're going, what would it be like to be with Sagittarius? Like, you know, what would it be like to live with Sagittarius? Wake up every day with Sagittarius? To do life with Sagittarius? And that's why I think that they want to make something real here. Now, with the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this could could indicate that someone's been in a third party. That could be the completion. They had to complete things on their end, maybe walk away from something that was not serving them anymore, end something, separate themselves from something. But this also shows the pain in their heart, Ace of Cups. This is someone who, okay, they very much care for you, very much care for you. Uh, dare I say love, that they have love towards you? Look at this, though. I mean, you can look at this card and you can feel the sadness and the pain here. Okay, yeah, this is someone that's definitely in deep regret, you guys. They are. They really love you. They really love you. I'm hearing, hold on for one more day, or whatever that song, you know, hold on for one more day. Six of Wands, Victory, and then look at that. There's the Ten of Swords. That's what I was talking about earlier with you guys. This is someone who had to have... They had to do work. They had to complete big cycles on their end. Um, maybe they even ended a marriage or a live-in situation with someone. Um, there's the Knight of, of, of Cups, okay? Unspoken feelings, a love letter that's unopened. There's a lot of like romantic energy, root chakra stuff going on here. But it's just someone who's a secret admirer. They love you. It's all secretive though. I, I've never let you go. I'm still holding on to this. You know, it's just you don't know. Or maybe you have an idea, Sag, but you don't really know. That's what that's what the message is here, okay? So what I'm getting here is you're about to find out. There you are, Queen of Wands, okay? This could also be that maybe someone ended something with, uh, maybe they held back because they were with a karmic partner and they ended something with a karmic. That could be it too. I don't know. You'll know your situations, but for you, it's you receiving exactly um, what it is that you desire. Now, let's say this is someone, you know, that is in this, you know, who is this person? And let's say you've moved on and you're not really interested. You have free will. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to be honest. I feel that the energy that I'm getting from you guys, I feel that you guys open this with open arms. You are going to use discernment and you guys are going to, you know, this person is going to have to align words with action and everything to show you, right? Um, but if they do this, I feel that you guys are open, okay? And someone has gone through a very painful breakup or an ending or something happened here, okay? Um, this person views you as very ambitious. You're very sexy. You are a go-getter driven. Um, you know, you're charismatic. There's a lot of like attraction here. Okay. With the queen of wands, it's like you walk in a room and you light up the room, Sag, and that's how this person views you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the message. I hope that this, this resonates with you guys. If it does, if this is your message, of course, claim it. Thank you for liking and commenting. I love reading your guys' comments. I love, um, you know, getting all the all of the confirmations and feedback and to see how this connects with you and, and all the things. So thank you for sharing, um, you know, ahead of time. Um, and if you guys would like to book anything with me, again, it's all down below. I offer a few different kinds of readings, general, past life reading, etc. Um, and then... I also am offering for a limited time um, my private one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons, okay? Um, so you can, again, read all the information down below. I typed out a whole thing all about the lessons and, and how it is and stuff, but I don't hone in on just reading cards. Obviously, that's not who I am. Um, and I know that we all have the ability to tap in, tune into our spiritual gifts, and that's what I concentrate on is helping you work with your gifts and open you up so you can channel messages and stuff but you know and just use the cards as confirmation or backup or whatever right um and if you're not interested in learning the tarot that's cool too um if you don't want to do tarot lessons instead of that you can do spiritual mentoring um because i was getting a lot of you know 
requests uh, for that. People emailing me and stuff saying like, would you ever do this? Or I would love to work with you and I'd love to learn from, you know. So I'm honoring that and I just thank you guys for, for all of your love and support. It's an honor to be here with you guys as well. Ah. Oh, I didn't see this fell out. Testing the waters. Look at, he's literally filling the water in the cup. Testing the waters. This person is coming in to test the waters. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, if Sagittarius will still have me or if I'll even have a chance here. But what I do know is I can't go the rest of my life not knowing. Because I was what? Fearful, you know, afraid to be rejected like that. There it is, higher love. You emanate a higher love frequency than they've ever felt before. This is higher love for you, for them. Um, this is higher love coming into your life, period. You're going to be experiencing higher levels and moments of love, my loves. Living together. I told you guys, did I not say that? I said that this person is like thinking about this stuff and they're fantasizing, not even fantasizing, they're manifesting. They're going, what would it be like to live with Sagittarius, to do life with Sagittarius? There it is could also show that someone's been maybe living maybe they've ended something with someone that they were living together with I think what this is is future influence though for most of you guys I think that you will be with this person for many and I think that you will end up building a life with this person for many and you will live with this person <laughs> moving in silence okay so they're they've been quiet no communication but they're moving. There's movement happening here. It's just, it's, it's, you're not seeing it or hearing it yet. It's not in 3D like that for you, but it's happening. It could also be this person moving towards you in silence, meaning, you know, maybe they're ending things on their end, coming towards you. And maybe it's like, they're just quiet about it. Like maybe they're not sharing a whole lot with other people. And, you know, I just, I don't know. There's something about protecting this union. So get one more, please, for Sag. Oh, thank you more than physical and then love thyself and then yin and yang yeah for for some of you guys for sure for sure twin flame energy here okay but again this is balanced energy i do feel that this person has done a lot of balancing within themselves so have you so this is you like it's the yin to your yang you know what i mean okay they've been balancing yin and yang yeah and then love thyself they've 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 started loving themselves Okay, and then karmic blocking. So that's confirmation that for some of you guys, this, there was a karmic block. Okay, all right. Things maybe have been a little out of control on this person's end. I don't know. But what I'm getting here is that what they feel for you is out of control. Okay, now this could also be a karmic energy here where the karma was some kind of substance abuse, substances, and that could be what got out of control, okay? Because this right here, Ten of Swords, that could be um, an addiction where you, you, you just, whatever it is, it's a painful ending of something in your life, okay? It's a rock bottom energy. So however it plays out, okay, this could even be you, my loves. Maybe you guys were the ones that overcame this, right? And now you've learned to love thyself and now boom, you know, you're, you're getting all this stuff, okay? Um, and then forcing something. Yeah, this is this could even be you, Sag. If you're the one in a relationship or something where you need to end it, then maybe that's that's a message for you, okay? But I think that this is someone who they were forcing something on their end. They weren't happy. They, you know, whatever they did to sabotage, they did that. And then there was an ending or something happened. They overcame something. And then, you know, now things are shifting. That's why we have the world card here. And then look at road trip. So someone could be traveling towards you. The world card can indicate travel, okay? Um, and then frequency match, yeah. So now with the, and then there's the emperor. Okay, so you literally, okay, so now the message is starting to kind of repeat itself, right? We literally have the emperor here, right? Okay, so this emperor is now yin and yang balanced, okay? Or balancing out their energy, their light and their dark, their, their masculine and feminine, whatever. Um, and now they're more of a frequency match to you, to this union, and they're coming in, they're making a move. They could be traveling, like I said, taking a road trip. Okay, Emperor drives a chariot, and I am seeing the chariot in my mind's eye, Emperor. And then wealth, yeah, 
this is extreme wealth. You guys, you're wealthy, you acquire wealth, or, or you guys come together and you guys build extreme wealth together, 10 of pentacles, like I said, um, or this is someone who just comes from wealth, or you do, I don't know. Okay, um, but that is what I have. That is what I have for you, my love. So I'm not extending this message. Um, I don't feel called to do that, um, but one thing I do feel called to do just really quickly is to just get confirmation. There it is, the mask. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So this is someone, again, they were hiding behind their ego, false mask, illusions, right? And they want to take the mask off, period. This is the mask falling off. I want to be real, okay? So that's what I have for you, my loves. And they are watching you somehow looking at your photos. Maybe they have some memorabilia, pictures on their phone, text messages. Maybe you guys, you know, sent them photos of you. I have no idea. But there is this looking at you. Maybe it's on your, you know, your social media. But they see your pictures somehow or whatever. And it's also just very nostalgic. I miss you, memories, looking back, that kind of a thing. Um, but it says make new memories. And they do. They want to make new memories. And look at this. Look at this abundance. This is a yes card for me in this deck. It means it says keep a positive mindset, which you've been doing. That's why I said you guys are very positive. That's what I got, right? Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Yeah. Okay. So this is beautiful energy for you guys. Get ready. There is someone coming in that wants to meet up, talk, converse more about the past. You guys, is there a chance? I don't know. So there, there's all that. Okay. Um. Anyways. And I'm also getting developing friendship. So this could even be them coming in and they want to test the waters and they feel called to you and they want like a do over here. They want like another chance. Um, if you're open to it. Um, what was I just going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But anyways, this is what I have for you guys. So thank you so much. I send you guys so much love, Saggies. Um, Happy rest of June, um, you know, just even if you find this, it's a timeless message, but I'm honing in on current energy. So if you find this three years from now, you know, in the middle of winter, it's fine. It's still current timeline energy for you, okay? Um, again, everything's down below to book with me for the tarot lessons, readings, all the things. Love and light to you guys. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful work that you are doing within self because, you know, when you heal you, you heal me. When I heal me, I heal you. So thank you, my love. Mwah.